how to make this adaptive panel with dynamic attractor point in Revit, without using the dynamo, no complicated script and formula needed, in just simple steps. without wasting too much of your time. Let's start. Open a new family. And select the metric generic model adaptive. Open. Select point element. Pick five reference points as shown. Select this four reference points. Make it adaptive. Select this reference point. Make it adaptive. Move this reference point. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Dimensions. Select set work plane. Set this plane. Select this plane. And select this reference point. Select the dimension. Then select new parameter. Name it. Attractor distance. Select instance. And check reporting parameter. OK. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Ignore and close the warning. Then check his reference line. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select point element. Pick at midpoint. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select point element. Pick at midpoint. Select the circle. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Draw a circle. Pick the reference point. Select the circle. Then check his reference line. Select point element. Pick four reference points as shown. Select this reference point. Normalized curve parameter. Change the value to 0.125. Select this reference point. Normalized curve parameter. Change the value to 0.375. Select this reference point. Normalized curve parameter. Change the value to 0.625. Select this reference point. Normalized curve parameter. Change the value to 0.875. Next. Dimensions. Select diameter dimension. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Then select the circle. Select the dimension. Then select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. Diameter. OK. Select point element. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Then pick reference point. Set work plane. Set this plane. Then pick reference point. Repeat the process. Next. Select this for adaptive points. Go to filter. Check none. Then check reference points. OK. Go to offset. And select associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Name it. Thickness. Select instance. OK. OK. Go to family types. Change the thickness to 100 millimeters. Apply. OK. Go to Family Types. Select New Parameter. Select Instance. Type of Parameter Select Integer. Name it. Attractor Divisor. 
Let's group it under dimensions. OK. Change the attractor divisor value to 15. And let's link the diameter parameter to the attractor by adding the formula. Attractor distance over attractor divisor. And change the thickness to 300 millimeters. Apply. OK. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Repeat the process. Next, select this reference lines and this reference lines. Then select create form. Select this reference lines and this reference lines. Then select create form. Repeat the process. Select all the forms, materials and finishes, associate family parameter, then select new parameter, name it, pattern finish, select instance, OK, OK. Uncheck shared, save the family. Name it. Adaptive Screen Attractor. Save the family. Next. Open a new family. And select Metric Generic Model Pattern Based. Open. Select Point Element. Then select Set Work Plane. Set this plane. Then pick Reference Point. Set Work Plane. Set this plane, then pick reference point. Select this two reference points. Go to filter, check none, and check reference point. OK. Change the offset value to 1000 millimeters. And select associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Name it. Offset. Select instance. OK. OK. Then select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select point element. Pick at this reference line. Select this four reference lines. Then select create form. Select the surface. Then select the divide surface. Pick this small arrow. Check the nodes. OK. Go to U grid number and associate family parameters. Select new parameter. Name it. U grid. Select instance. OK. OK. Go to V grid number 
and associate family parameters. Select new parameter. Name it. VGrid. Select instance. OK. OK. Go back to Adaptive Screen Attractor. Load into project and close. Pick the four points as shown. Endpoint pick here. Select the pattern. Attractor divisor. Associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Name it. Attractor divisor. Select instance. OK. Change the thickness to 40 millimeters. And select associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Name it. Thickness. Select instance. OK. Select the reference point. Press tab to cycle the selection. Normalized curve parameter. Associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Name it. NCP. Select instance. OK. OK. Select the pattern. Then select the repeat. Now let's test the parameters. Go to Family Types. Change the NCP value to 0.1. Apply. Let's try to change NCP value from 0.2 to 0.9. Please notice this reference point and the pattern as we change the NCP value. Now let's try to change the U-Grid and V-Grid number to 12. Apply. OK. Perfect. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.